Hey everyone, we're here at CES, we're at the TCL Preview Suite, and we're here with Brandon, who's the marketing manager. Uh, Brandon, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so today we're looking at our RM9, which is our RGB mini LED backlight TV. Uh, it's a brand new innovation for TCL as of 2026. So uh, in 2025, you heard a lot about RGB mini coming to life with a bunch of other brands. TCL is stepping into the ring, and we're throwing it in our product mix, so that way we can kind of be in the sea of other brands as well. Uh, and we think that RGB mini is, is definitely a game changer for consumers, better colors, better reds, greens, and blues. Uh, but TCL has a better uh, filter on the inside, which I think is gonna get people a lot more definition in all the content that they choose to watch, so. Nice. Will we be seeing this later this year? Absolutely, yeah. I think uh, sometime around late spring is kind of when we're anticipating RGB mini LEDs to launch. Um, we'll kind of get more information as we get a bit closer in terms of pricing, availability, all those types of things. Uh, so just stay tuned. TCL social channels are probably the best and ABS Forum as well. Brandon, can you uh, tell us a little bit more about this mini RGB LED TV? Yeah, absolutely. So RGB mini is basically red, blue, and green light that's firing off of backlight. Uh, it goes through an LCD layer and a color filter to kind of produce the image on screen. So what we're doing here at TCL is obviously the RGB mini backlight is creating a zone of color, right, in terms of like an area of concentration. But once it goes through our LCD panel and it goes through our color layer, it's going to give you pixel level precision that's going to get you the exact shade of red or a different shade of red or a different hue of red in the moment at any given time. And as the screen changes at a millisecond response uh, to the signal that you're watching, it's going to make sure that colors are represented uh, across the scene that a director intends. Nice. And I know TCL came out with a new processor this year, will this be included in this TV as well? Yes, absolutely. So our TSR processor with a little bit of AI uh, capabilities actually has some scene recognition. So across anything that you watch, uh, there will be a good degree of processing to make sure that color is in the right place at the right time for sure. Nice. And guys, I'm looking at this. I'm not seeing any smearing or any color bleed into the whites because that's one of the downsides with, you know, mini RGB right now. Um, this, looks, this looks great. Brandon, um, I know... This is kind of, you know, we'll get our hands on it later this year, but just looking at it, you know, on the showroom floor, it looks amazing. I would like to award you with the ABS oh, form. Nice. Best of CES award. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think uh, if it doesn't make its way to my desk, it's definitely going into uh, our corporate lobby in Irvine. So uh, we'll put it right in the front at the desk where everyone can definitely get to see it. So we appreciate this. Thank you so much. Well deserved. Thanks. Guys, this TV looks awesome, and I can't wait to get it in for review later this year. So, Brandon, we're here checking out the X11L TV, and I, I heard... Great things about this one so far. Can you give us a little bit of information about this one? Absolutely. So we just took a look at our RGB mini LED TV, and TCL is aiming to be uh, a premium uh, brand in RGB mini LED technology. We've been working on it for a few years, uh, but obviously it coming to market in 2026, we want to be the best that's out there. Uh, now we have uh, something that's kind of owned by uh, TCL. It's called SQD mini LED TV, and the SQD stands for Super Quantum Dot. So Super Quantum Dot allows for us to take that Quantum Dot layer that's been in traditional mini LED TVs, refine it so that way it's a little bit more smaller, a little bit more efficient so that way when that mini LED backlight shines you're still able to get a 100% BT 2020 color uh, so you're getting a ton of color a ton of brightness out of these TVs uh, and with SQD mini LED you actually get a little bit more contrast as well so it kind of enhances what you're watching contrast now you mean more contrast with the 11 the X11L compared to the RGB Mini? Yeah, that is that is correct. So with uh, the SQD Mini LED products that we're going to be selling out into the market this year, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot more local dimming zones, right? So with the X11L, you're going to get 20,000 local dimming zones and 10,000 nits of HDR peak brightness. So with those 20,000 dimming zones, they're kind of working all simultaneously to kind of give you an area of picture that needs to be defined by the signal that you're watching. And as it kind of passes through, you know, from the backlight, through the QLED layer, obviously into our LCD panel, and then obviously our color filter, uh, that's going to go from a zone level of precision to a pixel level of precision on the front. So we're really taking all that color, all that brightness and harnessing so that way the exact pixel that you see on screen, one of the 8 million that are there, it's going to be exactly the way that uh, needs to be defined by the director. Nice, nice. Uh, you know, it's kind of shocking because once you get Rec 2020 on something with QLED, what is the what would be the reason to go to you know mini RGB? Yeah, I think it's just kind of you know it's uh, kind of a consumer preference at that choice, right? Because RGB is going to be offered in a different plethora of sizes, a different plethora of numericals in terms of zones and brightnesses. Same with our uh, SQD lineup as well, right? So our job is to not only take premium TVs to a new level with TCL, but make them accessible for people as well. So you know if one model doesn't have you know a 65 inch, but you still want to take advantage of that color uh, space that we have with BT 2020, uh, you can kind of go ahead and opt into an, an RGB model that. It's going to fit you know, the right size for your living room and, and make sure that you really get a TCL solution that kind of fits your space. Nice. Thank you. And speaking of sizes, uh, the X11L comes in what sizes? Yeah. So at launch, we're going to have an 85 and a 98 available with a 75 following up pretty soon. Uh, and then anything on our RGB mini LED lineup will kind of come in the spring uh, as we get a little bit closer to launch. We'll get a little bit more definition on that. And the X11L will be shipping soon, right? 
Uh, soon, soon. Yeah, we, I can't give it any uh, a firm date, but I think everyone who's uh, tuning into all the news here at CES, uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that the X11L will be coming uh, very shortly. So Nice. Now, I do see the remote here in your hand. Now, that remote looks very similar to last year's remote, but there's a couple of upgrades to it, right? Yeah, absolutely. So it's still the same type of uh, TV uh, remote that you saw with our Google TV OS of last year in 2025. What's actually pretty cool is actually you'll see this little star button here. That's actually going to be a, a favorite button, so you can actually link that to your favorite streaming service, so that way you can get quick access, even to the Google TV home menu as well, if you really want to kind of do that, just to make sure that you have quick accessibility. The other thing that we're changing for this year is we actually have a brightness rocker, so you can adjust your brightness up and down just by using the rocker on the TV itself, just to kind of fit the environment that you're in. Uh, and then we have a PQ setting button, so if you need to go from Vivid to Standard to Filmmaker, you can hit this button right here, and then use kind of your touchpad on the front, so that way you can cycle between the different modes and kind of pick the, the PQ setting that's going to best fit the content that you're watching. So right here you'll see that I'm just using one, one button, uh, just my thumb here on the right side, I'm mean, just going to go ahead and kind of toggle our brightness, right? So if I really need to go down, even at the eco level of brightness, like 25, I can scale this all the way back up to almost 100, uh, pretty much within just a few seconds. And let's say I really want to kind of get something ready for a film that I'm watching, so filmmaker mode, I can go ahead and hit the side button, I can use the directional pad, and I can go right over to intelligent, vivid, standard, sports, or filmmaker mode, or movie mode, uh, just kind of depending on what's the preference of the content that I want to see in any given moment. So really accessible to kind of make the changes on the fly, so you can spend less time in the settings menu and more time watching TV. Brandon, last year you guys introduced uh, Gemini to the QM9K and then also the QM8K in a software update. Will this also have uh, Gemini as well? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, Gemini out of the box for all of our upper-end premium TVs and then obviously some TVs that may have not gotten last year. Uh, maybe an OTA update. We'll kind of see over time if that gets uh, you know pushed down to all those other levels of TV of 2025. Nice. And then one more before we move on to the design of the TV. It, um, Dolby Vision 2 is going to be a big thing this year at CES. Um, will this uh, support Dolby Vision 2? Yes, absolutely. We're definitely planning Dolby Vision 2 uh, just for an over-the-air update as well. Uh, we're also thinking about adding some other cool quality of life functions like Xbox Game Pass as well. So uh, just stay tuned. Uh, just make sure your TV is set to automatically update, and then you'll get all the best benefits that come from the, the software side of things for sure. Awesome. Thank you. And then looking at the design of the TV, it looks beautiful. It looks a lot like the QM9K. Uh, you guys brought over some of the, you know, some of the design language from the, from the year uh, before. But something different I see here is the, uh, the speakers on the bottom. Yeah, absolutely. So you'll notice that there's almost like a grill section kind of at the bottom of the TV, right? So we've still partnered with our great audio partner in Bang & Olufsen, which is a really reputable European speaker brand. Uh, we're definitely wanting to uh, make better audio inputs in the TV, so that way out of the box it gives you better uh, sound definition in terms of what you watch. Nice. Now what we're doing here is that bottom bar is actually going to have a left, center, and a right speaker. You're also going to get side speakers on both left and right, and then two subwoofers on the back as well. So it's a whole sound system that's built into the TV out of the box, so as soon as you start watching content, it's going to give you that 50% of the experience, right? Because 50% of what we watch on TV is matched by the audio that's kind of paired with it, right? So now with TCL, you're getting the whole home entertainment package kind of all in one set. Nice. And it's still uh, Bang & Olufsen this year? Yep, Bang & Olufsen for uh, upper, our upper premium. We also partner with Onkyo as well. Nice. Um, so as more product uh, details kind of get released, you'll kind of figure out which models are going to get what in terms of the speaker brand that's going to be in-house. So. Awesome. And then we're looking at this uh, wireless sub that's sitting over here. Um, any details on that? Yeah, so last year we partnered with Dolby and we built a, a system called Flex Connect. So what Flex Connect allows you to do is uh, it's going to naturally kind of pair up with your TV's uh, volume output to kind of understand uh, where you can put some spatial speakers in the room, right? So if I want to put it back left, back right, back center, uh, it'll actually emit a sound from your TV. It'll it'll find out the distance and it'll give you that exact spatial sound to build a 3D sound stage, uh, stage out for you. So uh, with the Z100 system, uh, you actually can uh, pair up to four different tower speakers. So it's a one by one by one uh, kind of unit that you can kind of place you know, on a bookshelf or on a table behind you, uh, along with a subwoofer as well. So along with the two subwoofers that you already get integrated in the back of the TV, uh, the Z100 system will have a subwoofer that's wireless as well. You can place that at any point in the room. Nice. And I know our, my, our viewers are probably going to hate me for saying this, but can you pair the wireless subwoofer without getting any other speakers and just use the speakers that are on the TV? Absolutely, yeah. So part of the demo that we're doing here today is to kind of show off all the speakers that are built in the TV, that left, right, center, and the two sides that I was talking about. Uh, we've actually had some demos where it's just using the subwoofer, so it just gives you the bass, but TV speaker sound. Uh, and it actually sounds just as good as you know a sound bar that you would add in for you know an additional cost, but uh, now you're just kind of getting it out of the box, which I think is a really good experience for a lot of customers. So looking at the X11L, it looks like an awesome TV. Uh, the fact that you get Rec 2020 with quantum dots and you don't have any of the downsides, I guess, to RGB, 
as of right now in the early days. Um, this just looks amazing. I can't wait to test it, and it looks so good. I'd like to award you the ABS oh, Foreign Best of CES Award Beautiful. Well. So one for the office, one for my desk. No, I'm just kidding. No, it, it'll definitely go right front and center at our uh, HQ in Irvine. I think uh, our team is very proud uh, when we get awards and recognition, especially from some of the experts in our industry. Uh, so we just really want to say thank you to you and the rest of ABS Forum for really supporting TCL. Um, you know, it means a lot for us when we get a lot of, uh, you know, kind of fandom and, and people who are rooting for us as, as kind of a, a growth brand in the industry that's kind of competing with some of the gorillas that are out there. But yeah, we definitely really appreciate your sentiment for sure. So. Our pleasure. Well deserved. Well, uh, thanks again, thank Brandon. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it.